Shushu is getting groomed today. My foster kitten Shushu has the longest hair ever. And while it's very cute, it's also been causing some issues for him. His hair collects all kinds of nonsense, like little bits of litter, dust, and whatever other stuff he encounters, especially on his belly, chest, back, and around his butt. But while most cats are excellent groomers, Shu Shu has a severe cleft palate, so he has trouble grooming himself because anything that goes into his mouth also goes right up into his nasal cavity. So when he grooms himself, he gets severe irritation that leads to a lot of snot and sneezing. What's going on? We have to brush him several times a day. And fortunately, his friend Ferguson really likes to groom him. So that does help. I mean, he really likes to groom him. Maybe a little bit too much. He's super passionate about it. <laughs> Anyway, another problem he's had recently is that after he plays with Ferguson, sometimes he's so hot that he'll actually pant. Open mouth breathing like this is not normal or healthy behavior for a kitten. And it's in part because of the San Diego heat and in part because he's just so hot under all that thick fur. So I started considering cutting his fur for the summer. And I reached out to my friend Asami, who's an animal rescuer and a professional groomer up in Los Angeles. When I told Asami I was thinking of shaving him myself, she said, no way, don't do it yourself. It should really be done by a professional. She told me that a cat's skin is so thin that it's very easy to cut if you're not trained. And she doesn't recommend that anyone try this at home without the help of a professional. Lucky for Shushu, she offered to drive down and groom him herself. So today I'm here with my friend Asami, the groomer, and my friend Igu, who is Shushu's other foster mom. And the three of us are going to work on giving Shu a new do. Step one, trim the nails. Asami makes this part look really easy, but of course you do need to be careful not to cut the pink part, the quick, when you're trimming their nails. Step two, pre-cut. This is where you trim some of the length. This part isn't about styling, it's just about getting the hair shorter before washing. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be a relief for him. I can't wait to see what his body looks like under there. So this is a skin, it's really thin, so you kind of have to pull it, mm. and then you go. You wanna try? Sure! It's like oh a velvet. My He's gosh. like a little bunny. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is a nuts. Mm -hmm. Step three, bathing. When bathing cats, Asami uses warm water in a large bucket, and she uses a cup to wet them and to rinse them. This decreases their stress by not having the faucet on. She makes a custom shampoo that meets the cat's specific needs. For Shushu, she chose a few products, including a purple shampoo designed for white fur. She uses cotton to protect his ears while she gives him what she calls a blueberry facial. Then she washes him all over with the custom shampoo. Hi, little man. Rinses. Good job, Shu. And towel dries. Yay! Step four is to blow dry him using a special dryer for cats and dogs. Then we move to step five, finishing the haircut. Asami finishes shaving all the problem areas like his tummy and his back and his butt. Then she moves on to the details for the areas where she's left a little bit of length. She's left a little length on his feet, his tail. Oh my gosh, Shushu, look at your little poof tail. And of course, his head. Then she shapes these areas using some special kinds of scissors. After she was done with his haircut, we could not believe how much fur had come off. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, it's like up my nose. The big reveal.
And here you have it, the final result. Shushu, you look phenomenal. Shushu looks so cute, but most importantly, he feels so much better. Almost immediately, his entire demeanor changed. He's more playful, more energetic, cuddly, social, and just genuinely so much happier. I knew that doing this haircut would help him with overheating and the grooming issues associated with his cleft palate, but what I didn't know was that it would affect his behavior and his happiness so much. Ever since getting his haircut, he's like a totally different cat. But don't worry, Ferguson still loves to play with him and to groom him just as much. Shushu's new do might look cute, but please keep in mind that grooming a cat should only be done when there's a medical reason for doing so. For instance, cats who are prone to matting, cats who are unable to groom, or cats who struggle with overheating during the warm months. Grooming a cat can be very stressful for them in the moment, but when it's done for the well-being of the specific animal, the results can be pretty amazing. I'm so happy for Shushu now that he is feeling happier and lighter thanks to his new haircut. 